I'm sure you'll be wonderful. I so too. Hi guys, my name is Casey and this is Conversations with Bad Men. I have with me today a very, very bad man. Hi. This is Brandon Ryan and he plays Harvey in The Art of Bad Men. Hi. Hi. So I thought we would start off with a couple of you know, lighthearted, <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Tacos or pizza? Can't you have pizzas that are wrapped up in tacos? And I call them tacos. If aliens exist, what do you think they look like? Did you ever see a movie Back to the Future? Yeah. And uh, that part where Marty was like, The bruise! The bruise on your head! I know how it happened! You told me the whole story. You were standing on the toilet, you fell, and you hit your head in the sink. And that's when you came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. I just really like that movie. <laughs> but aliens. Oh yeah, I like that movie. That one's more actionier. The first one's more sci-fi, so no. I like I like that one. Good. No, what do you think aliens look like? I don't know. According to Joss Whedon in the fourth one, which is horrible. I don't. They're like some weird white albino rhino, which almost rhymes, which I like. So I like things that rhyme. A white albino rhino. Uh huh. Who would play you in a movie about your life? Uh, Norma Desmond from Sunset Boulevard. Yes, I yeah. would pay to see that. I would, yeah. She's, you know what sucks is when you see movies from like the 40s or 50s and you're like, oh wow, she is very attractive or he's very attractive. I wonder if they'll go out. No, they're dead. She's dead. <laughs> Tell me about Harvey. Uh, Harvey guards the bad man. Harvey is a gentleman who, due to a medical condition, cannot actually fight in the war, so he's regulated to kind of a menial task of just being a prison guard. He just kind of has, that's his lot in life, that's just kind of his life, his whole life is just kind of like, you know, kind of like that, unfortunately. So people become accustomed to their lives that way, and some find happiness, some try to strive for more, and they realize where they're at, but they want more, and some just... Accepted. So you are also the artistic director for yes. Matt Theater. Woo! <laughs> what made you want to produce this play above all other plays? Vincent Delaney has a ridiculous voice, a theatrical voice, and I just, I love his stories and I read his pieces. And this one particularly, I actually remember specifically, I had this piece for a few years and I specifically came home one night after watching a subpar theatrical production and I was, I needed some inspiration. Seeing horrible theater is actually awesome because it inspires you because you're like, oh, I can fix this, I can make it better. It makes me want to be a better artist. So I went home that night wanting to be reassured theatrically and I immediately picked up this script and read it till two in the morning and texted Peggy Gannon, my producing partner and best friend, and I immediately was like, this is what we're doing this show. It's two o'clock in the morning and this is inspiring to me and it always was, but it just at a certain point it just spoke to me and right then and there I was like, I have to tell this story right now. This is a story that needs to be told, this is a story that is real, actually factually happened and not many people know about it and I need to have people see this. Last question, mm -hmm. very very important, mm -hmm. like world changing. Yep. Who's your favorite interviewer whose name starts with a K? Did you um, see Alien 3, directed by David Fincher? No. Before 20th Century Fox took it away from him? I've only seen the first one. Oh my god! This has been Brandon. Nope, that's you. <laughs> all right, well, that's all I got for Awesome, you. thank you. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm. You have to get back to rehearsal. I do! All right, so you go do that, and I will thank you guys for joining us. See you at the show! Bye! What? <laughs> All tickets sold by Map Theater are name your own price. You don't even pay ticketing fees. Want to reserve your seats ahead of time? Go to brownpapertickets.com and search for The Art of Bad Men. See you at the show!